Sono Lidia, l'ho detto. Ecco, oggi faccio le veginelle e faccio mangiare per i bravi. This is the hermitage of Santa Maria di Val di Sasso, high in the hills near Fabriano. St. Francis of Assisi lived here from 1209, and it was a Franciscan monastery for nearly 600 years. It's recently been renovated and is a hermitage once more. And 82-year-old Lydia cooks for the six monks who live here. Today, she's making pincinelli for them. This pasta is made with bread dough. Lydia uses one kilo of zero zero flour and 25 grams of fresh yeast. She pours in around 600 ml of water, dissolves the yeast and mixes it all together. Traditionally, housewives made bread once a week and any excess dough was used to make pincinelli. Ecco qua, questa è fatta. Non lo devi lavorare tanto, basta. No, perché questa adesso si deve lievitare. Poi dopo si lavora per fare le pinginelle. Lydia gives the dough a brief knead and leaves it to rest, covered. Adesso questa deve riposare per circa un'ora e mezzo. Queste qui adesso fatte le metti pure in frigorifero, perché siccome c'è il lievito può gonfiarsi, no? E invece se le metti in frigo non si gonfia. Poi questa è un chilo di farina, ci metti 25 grammi di lievito e poco, non è tanto. She puts it in the fridge for a slower rise. Adesso torna pulita qui. Lydia has brought her knife with her from her home. She scrapes the board clean. Questa l'ho fatta circa tre ore. This is dough she prepared earlier. Lydia says foil can be reused and it's good for keeping the dough moist. You can use different flours such as farro or emma. Traditionally, a wholemeal flour called triello was used locally. Questa è ora da fare le pinginelle. Facciamo così, la prepariamo per fare lo sfoglio. Lydia cuts the dough into pieces and rolls one out. Pincinelli have lots of other names, such as pence, pincierelli, monfricoli, depending where you are in Marche. Her pin and board belong to her mother. La tavola è Martarello già 55 anni. The pasta sheet should be just less than half a centimeter thick. She doesn't want it too big as the ribbons need to be shortish. Allora, questi bisogna lasciarle un pochettino ertine, non come le tagliatelle. Lydia keeps her sfoglia well floured and double rolls it. Ecco, così. Questo è così. She slices it and shakes out the ribbons. Poi, questo si fa in questa maniera. They're square-sided, and Lydia wants them rounded and thinner, so she rolls each one out a little with flat palms. She 
She cuts them into 20 centimeter lengths. Some cooks prefer them to be around 10 centimeters. They'll expand with cooking, so don't make them too earthworm in size. Lydia ran a trattoria for many years. She says pincinelli suit all sorts of sauces, from meat ragu to forage greens, even fish. E adesso finisco di fare queste, no? Poi faccio il sugo. Today she's cooking a tomato sauce. She pours some olive oil into a saucepan. Lydia rinses her Piccadilly toms and chops them in half. She slices an onion and snips plenty of basil from her garden. She adds salt and a pinch of sugar. She cooks everything together over a moderate heat. This all at the same time tomato sauce is typical of Marque. It also works well with tin tomatoes. The monks have been donated a restaurant grade stick blender. Lydia blitzes the sauce smooth and adds a little olive oil to finish. She slackens the sauce with a little water. Perché è molto denso, no? Troppo. Oggi vuole un goccettino d'acqua. Lydia cooks the pincinelli in boiling salted water. She ladles some sauce into a mixing bowl. Then she scoops the pasta into the bowl along with more sauce. She mixes everything together thoroughly before placing the pasta on a serving platter. Adesso, questo è con l'olio, il formaggio non ci va. Però chi ci piace ce lo mette. She dresses the pasta with more shredded basil and it's done. Si è pronti, pronti da mangiare. Lydia says the monks like eating everything as long as they don't have to cook it. Postulant Filippo is our taste tester. Sono buonissime. No, dilla loro. Dilla loro, io le so. Sono buonissime. Prendi il piattino delle saggi, dai, prendili, no? Prendi il piattino là. Grazie, Lidia. Siamo in buone mani. In tutti i sensi. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.